Hello, this is Gruan here to talk about an upcoming H1Z1 event which has been posted to the news. Haunt Fest event. So on Tuesday, October 16th, they posted this. A haunting H1Z1 holiday. Get your free Haunt Fest event pass and earn new ghoulish goodies. With season 1 of the battle pass wrapped up and season 2 kicking off in early November, there's a special free spooky surprise waiting for you in the meantime. On October 23rd, H1Z1 on PS4 will be updated to bring you a limited time free Haunt Fest event pass, a new arcade mode with rewards, and new skins you can earn or purchase. Haunt Fest event pass. The limited time Haunt Fest event pass will be available and free for all players between October 23rd and November 6th. You'll automatically unlock it just by logging in, and you can increase your Haunt Fest event pass tier through the usual methods, by completing challenges or increasing your season level. Each tier of the Haunt event pass grants you treat crates, which contain a variety of ghoulish goodies. Now moving on to treat crates. No tricks here, only treats. Each treat crate contains Haunt Fest event pass medals, credits, or the brand new Dead Man's Chest, which is filled with spooky skins. Here are all the different ways you can score treat crates during the Haunt Fest event pass. Tear up your free Haunt Fest event pass, increase your season level, complete your challenges, find them randomly around the world in the new limited time arcade mode, Haunt Fest. You'll want to go for those airdrops, I guess that's a hint. Treat crates? That's almost a tongue twister. You guys should try saying it a couple times fast. Now moving on to the arcade mode, Haunt Fest. Ready for a sugar rush? For a limited time, a new rule set is available in an arcade mode, Haunt Fest. Haunt Fest is a solo mode and each match takes place during the evening. Look for piles of candy hiding in plain sight. Picking up and eating them will greatly increase your running speed and give you a bit of a health regeneration to boo. Watch out though, as sugar can also cause tunnel vision. Plus, you'll also find treat crates during Haunt Fest matches. You'll want to hunt down those air jobs for your best shot at Haunt Fest event pass medals, credits, and the new Dead Man's Chest. The Dead Man's Chest. Filled to the brim with ghoulish getups, the new Dead Man's Chest will make sure you haunt your enemies. There are a few key ways that the Dead Man's Chest is different from previous crates. All common tier items inside the Dead Man's Chest are no dupe. This means when you open a Dead Man's Chest and it's a common item, you won't receive the same item again until you've unlocked all the other common items inside. Collect all 10 tactical masks and you'll automatically unlock an added bonus, the full green bone set. This set contains the green bone skull mask, hoodie, work boots, baggy pants, body armor, and magnum. As mentioned above, each treat crate you earn gives you a chance at receiving a dead man's chest. The new dead man's chest can also be purchased directly in game if you're looking for more chances at the green bone set. And they share their social media below. It's the 19th and the event starts on the 23rd of October so there's nothing to show for it and the season pass says it ends in zero hours so I guess we're in the ending time of that so now moving on to the marketplace so the mask of the monkey king is an ultra rare item for 500 crowns or 1250 credits and that's available for another like 40 hours and in the daily section we have the dragon motorcycle helmet which is a rare for 150 crowns or 340 credits and below that, which I'll show in a moment, is the Gas Runner Parachute, which is a rare for 200 crowns. Though for some reason, I don't think it's showing up properly in the display. And then under that, which I'll hopefully get to soon, is the Varsity Makeshift Armor, which is another rare for 200 crowns or 500 credits. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helped. If you've enjoyed watching this video and would like to see more, my last video is on the left, the newest one's on the right, and a recommended one should be in the middle. Please consider subscribing to be notified of future uploads and to further support the channel. Thank you.